Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to find eigen vectors of A. Test eigen values to part A, find the remaining eigen vectors of A. In this case, one. so 1 zero minus 1 is eigen vectors for lambda eigen value equal to 2. Let's recall what is the eigen value eigen vectors again. So in this case, recall that if E is eigen vector of A, with eigen value lambda, then A times E go lambda times E. Now with a little bit of algebra, lambda E is lambda I times E, where I is the identity matrix. So rearranging it, you get A minus lambda I times E equal to 0. In particular, if lambda is eigen value of A, and say E is eigen vector X, Y, Z, a minus lambda e times e equals 0 becomes. So we are solving this simultaneous equation now. So what we do is, if lambda equals minus 1 is one of the eigen value, let's say the eigen vector is x, y, z now. So put lambda equals minus 1 into this equation. We get 2. So we are going to solve this simultaneous equation. So to solve this simultaneous equation, we're going to do some row operation. So I'm going to write the augmented matrix at, alright, I can take the or interchange the first row and second row in order so that I have 1, 0, 1, move to the first row, first and 3 minus 3, 0, 0, move to the second row. The reason I do this is because now that I have a leading one in the first row. So I can create everything below leading 1 0. So what I can do now is take the first row times 3 times minus 3, add to the second row, and then the first row times 1, add to the third row. This will give me the matrix in this manner, which is 1 0 1 0 and 0 minus 3 minus 3 as I'm about to add the first row to the third row, I get 0, 3, 3, 0. Now afterwards, I have a leading one in the first row, so I need to bring a leading one in the second row now. What I can do now is take the second row time minus one third. Now this will give, and then I have a leading one in the second row, I will make sure that everything below leading one must be 0, so I can take uh, second, second row times minus 3, add to the third row, this will give me, by this I have a row reduced form now. So based on this equation, I can interpret that there is a leading one for x, right? this is a leading one for x here, in the first row, there is a leading one for y in the second row, but there is no leading one for z. So it means that x plus z equal to 0, y plus z equal to 0, and z has no leading 1, so z is free. So I can conclude now, if e2, which is x, y, z, is a icon vector for a with the value equal minus 1, then e2 equal to minus z, minus z, z, alright, based on this because I have x equal to minus z, y equal to minus z, this is how I get x equal to minus z, y equal to minus z, and so one possible icon vector I can find, in this case I pull out a minus z, I get 1, 1, minus 1. So 1, 1 minus 1 is an icon vector for A with lambda equal to minus 1. When lambda equal to 1, it's an icon vector of A. Right? So we copy the earlier equation. And then we put lambda equal to 1 now, we we'll get to this simultaneous equation. To solve this simultaneous equation, we copy the augmented matrix and do some row operation. So, so we can take the first row times minus 1, alright, and then you multiply uh, minus 1 and add it to the second row, or the first row times 1, add to the third row to so create 0 below the link 1. So the first row remains unchanged. The second row, 
one times minus one add one get zero minus three times minus one add to minus two get one and one zero and first row add to the third row get zero so now I have a leading row in the second row second row times three add to the first row and this will give me that row remain unchanged second row zero one one zero and the first row become one zero as a second row times three add to the first row becomes one times three one zero three zero so this is the row reduced form now we have a leading y in the first row x position and in the y position they are leading one and there's no leading one under z position so interpret this equation it says that x plus 3z equals 0 y plus z equals 0 and z has no leading one so z is free which means that x will be equal to minus 3z y equal to minus z and z is free therefore if say e3 equal to x y z is an icon vector for a with icon value lambda equal to 1 then e3 equal to x y z where x equal to minus 3 z y equal to minus z z is z there pull out common factor z I get minus 3 minus 1 1 so a possible icon vector is so take e3 equal to minus 3 minus 1 1 where z cannot be equal to 0 okay so let's take a summary here so a has three icon vector k has the following uh, has following icon value and icon vector for that is the end of the recording